How to Identify an HIV Rash A frequent symptom of HIV infection is a rash on the skin. In most situations, it is a warning sign that appears two to three weeks after the infection has been caught. However, other, less harmful conditions, such as an allergic reaction or a skin problem, can produce skin rashes. If you're unsure, visit your doctor and get tested for HIV. This will guarantee that you get the best treatment possible for your disease. 1. Look for a red, slightly elevated, and extremely itchy rash. The HIV rash normally appears as blotches and dots on the skin, which are red for fair complexion and dark purple for dark skin. The rash's severity varies from patient to patient. Some people develop a severe rash that spreads over a vast area, while others develop a small rash. The rash will develop as elevated crimson lesions that cover your entire body if the HIV rash is caused by antiviral drugs. Drug eruptions are the name for these rashes. 2. If you see a rash on your shoulders, chest, face, upper body, or hands, take note. The HIV rash commonly appears on this part of your body. The rash, on the other hand, usually goes away on its own within a few weeks. It's been mistaken for an allergic reaction or eczema by some people. Because the HIV rash is not contagious, there is no risk of HIV transmission. 3. When you have HIV rash, pay attention to any other symptoms that may occur. These are some of them, vomiting and nausea, sores in the mouth, fever, diarrhea, muscle ache, body pains and cramps, your glands are enlarging, vision that is cloudy or blurry, appetite loss, and joint discomfort. 4. Understand the causes of HIV rash. The decrease in the amount of white blood cells WBC, in your body causes this rash. HIV rash can appear at any stage of illness, although it usually appears two to three weeks after you've been infected. This stage is known as seroconversion, and it occurs when the infection can be detected through a blood test. Some persons may miss this stage and acquire HIV rash later on in their infection. And bad reaction to anti-HIV medications might potentially create an HIV rash. HIV skin rashes can be caused by drugs such as Prenavir, Abacavir, and Nevirapine. Dermatitis, which occurs during the third phase of HIV infection, can cause skin rashes. This type of HIV rash is itchy and appears pink or reddish. It commonly appears on your groin, underarms, chest, face, and back and can last from one to three years. If you have herpes and are HIV positive, you can develop HIV rashes. Getting medical care. One, if you have a mild rash, you should get an HIV test. If you haven't been tested for HIV yet, your doctor should order a blood test to see if you're infected. If you test negative, your doctor will evaluate if your rash is caused by an allergic reaction to food or by something else. You could potentially have a skin condition such as eczema. If you have HIV, your doctor will almost certainly recommend antiretroviral medication and treatment. If the rash is mild and you're already taking anti-HIV medicine, your doctor will tell you to keep taking it because the rash should go away in one to two weeks. Your doctor may prescribe an antihistamine, such as Benadryl or Atarix, or a corticosteroid-based cream to relieve the rash, particularly the itching. 2. If the rash is severe, seek medical attention right once. Other virus symptoms, including as fever, nausea or vomiting, muscle pain, and mouth sores, may emerge with your severe rash. Your doctor should perform a blood test to see if you have HIV if you haven't already been tested. Your doctor will prescribe anti-HIV medication and treatment based on the results of your blood test. 3. If your symptoms worsen, especially after taking your prescription, see a doctor. Certain drugs may cause hypersensitivity, and your HIV symptoms, including your HIV rash, may worsen. Your doctor should advise you to stop taking the medicine and give you with alternatives. When should you look for help? If you're not sure what's causing your rash and suspect you could have been exposed to HIV, schedule an appointment with your healthcare physician. Notify them of any skin changes that have occurred. This will assist the doctor in making a diagnosis.